Hampshire replaced Middlesex in second spot in the South Group of the NatWest T20 Blast as they took the game at the Aegeus Bowl by 19 runs. Hampshire batted after James Vince won the toss and on a slowest pitch, Michael Carberry showed that shots could be played on it with a couple of clean hits in Toby Rowland-Jones' first over, the second of the match. After Stephen Finn's first couple of overs went for only four runs, Roland Jones switched ends, only for Carby to attack him again. The bowler hit for three successive bounties in the fifth over, even though the visitors started pretty well with the ball. On a gorgeous evening, Hampshire could only get to 42 without loss on their six overs of power play. And to the second ball of the seventh over, Vince dragged a ball from James Franklin back on to go for nine. Jimmy Adams came and went in a hurry, flicking a ball from Franklin to Nick Compton at deep square to depart for just three, with a total on 50 for two in over number eight. Hampshire could only muster a score of 62 for two at the halfway stage of their innings, O.A. Shah trying desperately to improve the rather sluggish run rate. Carberry, now well in, had a key role to play and a beautiful extra cover drive off Neil Dexter brought the opener his 50 off 40 balls with his seventh boundary he was dominating the scoring at this stage. The problem for the home side was that there were just not enough boundaries, and in trying to find one, Carberry on 57 picked out Nathan Souter in the deep off Dexter, whose four over spell brought him figures of two for 25. So with five overs remaining, Hampshire still hadn't posted three figures, that being brought up in the 16th over as Shah struck the first six of the night off the returning Finn. It was the turning point of the evening. The home team still needed a big finish and Sean Irvin needed to get a wriggle on straight away. A four in Franklin's over was followed up with this six as the charge was suddenly on. Shah then went after the same bowler as the 17th over cost 19, the total standing at 125 for three. Irvin then brought up the 50 run stand from 29 balls with this much needed maximum. Shah cleared the rope again with the shot of the night thus far off a length ball from Finn who was then smashed for another six to the last ball of a match-altering over, which cost Finn and Middlesex 25 runs, Hampshire finding their form right at the death of their innings. Shah, against his former club, completed a 50 off 31 deliveries in the last over, and then to the very last ball of the innings, he drove Roland Jones down the ground for a fifth six, he ending on 58 from 33, with Irvin 42 off 31, as these two put on 85 from 38 deliveries. So Hampshire will have been pleased to get to 172 for three from their 20 overs. Middlesex replying with their first boundary as Compton hit Jackson Bird's first delivery for the home side for four. Bird's first over cost 17 runs, Darwin Milan picking up from his last T20 innings when he made a career best 115 not out by taking three fours off four balls here with some delicious shots included. Middlesex wanted to get off to a flyer before pace was taken off the ball. Doing that was Chris Wood, who cramped Compton for room, the batsman finding Vincent mid-on with 18 runs on the board in the third over. Milan then followed in the next one with an edge off Yasser Arafat to Adam Wheater, the opener falling for 17 at 27 for two. That moved on to 41 for two at the end of the six overs of power play, Owen Morgan announcing himself an extraordinarily well-timed shot off Wood, which carried the distance. Vince then turned to the spin of Danny Briggs and Will Smith to try to squeeze the life out of the reply, and that they did, reducing Middlesex to 67 for two after 10. Once Bird flew back into the attack, Morgan then decided to have a go as he needed to. 104 were wanted off the final 10 overs, and Middlesex's cause was not helped at all as Joe Burns plinked his shot off Yasser Arafat into the hands of Carberry at deep mid wicket. Burns was gone for a sluggish 18, and now Franklin had a big job on his hands. The target at 96 from the last eight overs. Middlesex were going to need a big finish, as Hampshire had done. But Smith came back on and had Morgan caught off a miss hit at short fine leg. The batsman out for 28 as the spinner ended with the excellent figures of 1 for 21 from his four overs. The visitors now relied heavily on Franklin, who was timing the ball as well as anyone. This going all the way for six. But to the next delivery, a low full toss from Irvin was missed time to extra cover, where Vince held on to just about secure his side of victory. Franklin gone for an 18 ball 31. It left Middlesex on 104 for five with five overs remaining, 
69 more needed and all sorts of shots were required if they were going to get close. John Simpson produced something extraordinary to somehow clear the rope at long off. A more traditional shot from Dexter two balls later produced the same result. The 16th over, just the sort his team wanted, 15 coming from it. Shah and Irvin had smashed 66 runs off the last four overs of their innings. Middlesex now needing 54 from their final 24 deliveries, that being reduced to 38 off 12, as Briggs ended his night with figures of 0 for 25. Arafat was even better with 2 for 21 from his four overs. Middlesex left with 27 to find off the last over, and the match was over when Simpson found Smith in the deep off Wood to go for 31. The visitors had to settle for a final total of 153 for six to lose by 19 runs, the result seeing Hampshire up to second in the group with three wins from four. Middlesex with a record of two wins and two losses. Hampshire now head to meet Chris Gale in Taunton, while their opponents here go to Glamorgan. Both games coming up straight away.